Hello there guys, I am Vikrant and you are watching CG Epic. Today I am going to show you how to make a C uh, modern bed. So, this is going to be divided into uh, 4 parts and let's get started. I will just scale down the cube on Z axis and then, then I'll, you can press tab to go into edit mode or again press tab to go into object mode. Or you can also press edit mode here and object mode here. So now I will just go to side view to go to the side view you can press 3 or you can also press y 1 to go to the y axis view and 3 to go to x axis view to go to the top view you can press number pad 7 you can see all the buttons which i am just pressing here so now i will just go to the top view by pressing number pad 7 and scale that upon x axis something like this and scale that upon y axis which looks something like this so i'll just scale that a bit up on x axis a bit more something like this looks good now i'll go to object mode and just go to side view by pressing number pad 3 to go to x x side view so now i'll just press shift d grab on z axis and grab it somewhat like here just scale that down a bit uh, not a very a large part of it just grab that on z axis now and make it fit something like this now we, it should be some a puffy looking look for the mattress to do that i will just go to the cloth simulation add in the cloth before adding the cloth there are no subdivisions it will not look good at all so i will just press ctrl r and add in like a 20 loop cuts what happens if we add just subdivide it up? so if we subdivide it there will be smaller faces at this side and larger faces at that side and I will add in a loop cut here press ctrl r and add in the loop cut now this should be almost the of the equal size so for just for instance I will add in the cube and grab that on grab that and I will just scale that on z axis something like this if you can see that now if I subdivide it like uh, you can see that it's there are smaller faces here and larger faces here we don't want that to happen so we just added in some loop cuts so now if we subdivide the cube it will be the equal it will be of the equal almost the equal faces so i'll just delete this cube and then now it looks like a subdivided cube now i'll go to modify tab and add in the modifier that's going to be the subdivision surface modifier and the subdivisions are going to be 3 and I'll keep it simple so that it's not there are no rounded edges and just press apply now I'll add in the cloth modifier for this now just if I go to physics and just go down and in the field width just decrease the gravity to 0 and in the pressure just enable the pressure and keep the pressure to be somewhat like 2 and just if I let the blender calculate the settings which we are just there, it will simulate itself and start puffing. So after the frame number 3, I'll just pause it at frame number 3 because it looks more like a mattress now and less like a funny little cube. Now I'll go to sculpting mode and just get rid of some of the sharp edges here. So I will use the smooth brush here with the new blender add on the cloth brush it's way more easier to do sculpting for the cloth so i'll just smooth it a bit now it looks much more better than the last time now there are you can see all the faces now so i will add in a modifier first i need to apply the cloth modifier because it would just simulate again itself so if i press play it would be stay on it would stay on one place now if I go to now if I go to add in the subdivision and you can add the modifiers by going to a screwdriver like looking icon if I press add modify and select the um, subdivision surface it would just subdivide it uh, we need to keep the viewport to be one and just apply it but still you can see the faces to solve that I'll select the cube the mattress and press shade smooth it looks like a mattress now that's it for today we'll make the pillows and the 
pillows the cover in my next video so that's it for today thank you for watching subscribe like and comment and don't forget to watch my other videos thank you